happy Halloween, Lovey Wanders and Etheria. Uh, today I'm going to be showing basically how to mod these Ultra Sabers into a Lovey Wand. Um, this is the one that Etheria mailed to me so that I can mod for her. And basically we're just going to show you how to turn it into, um, well, a levitation sword. I like mine considerably longer. Uh, this allows you to do things like contact just a little bit easier. Um, that's how I prefer them. Of course, you guys can get a much shorter version. Um, it's entirely up to you. This is their Ultra Blades, a little bit shinier, a little brighter. This is their, or this is their Ultra Blade. This is their standard one from um, Ultra Sabers. This is their 36 inch blade. This is their 24 inch blade. This is their 24 inch handle, which you can see is longer. And then this is their shorter 8 inch handle. Um, depending on how you like to play with your levies, uh, you can either get the longer versions or the smarter, shorter versions. In either case, it could work. So, let's get started on what you need. So, what you're going to need to be able to mod your Ultra Saber into a Levy Wand, uh, to start with, what you're going to need is tape, so therefore the battery pack doesn't rattle, so sometimes that does that. Um, to prevent it from rattling and for the battery slipping out, I tape the batteries and also I grab cotton balls to put it in. To make sure that this is tunable both up and down, we're actually going to grab about six quarters. You should only need two of them, but then the other ones are to just in case. You can also use washers, just quarters are everywhere, and then if you ever like need a quarter at Aldi's or something, you can just pull this out of the back of your car and grab one. Um, to be able to put the string in, you're going to be able to need uh, a marker, just to be able to mark where you're going to put the hole. A drill, for obvious reasons of putting the hole in there. I use Kevlar line, you can also use fishing line, uh, just make something, if it's dark, makes it a little bit illusion, a little bit better. And then to seal everything, I also use super glue and then a baggie so I don't have to touch the glue myself. Um, I guess, let's just get started. So the first thing I do is, depending on what type you get, most of them will either come with four double A's like this one, or it will come in triple A's or it will come with a uh, lithium ion battery. In either case, this sometimes rattles, as well as these batteries tend to pop out and then just blink or shut off the thing and then you just have to hit the button. So to be 100% sure, absolutely sure that that does not happen, all I do is I take a piece of masking tape. It doesn't really matter how long. I just make sure the batteries are secure in there by taping them in there's no chance of them slipping in the middle of a show or a performance. Um, hi little kitten. To make sure there's no rattle up or down, and because there's plenty of space in here for things to go, I just end up taking a couple of cotton balls, little fuzz balls. These are Haku's favorites, so if you take one of these and you go, Haku, look, look, cotton ball, she'll run away. Um, and I just take about two or three of them, depending on how much space, space is in there. This one doesn't have quite as much as usual, so two should be enough. This also prevents the rattle from going up or down as well. And that should be more than enough to keep it from moving around in that direction. So if I push this in, it doesn't go up too deep. So what I do is I toss it about two quarters right off the bat. So when it's flushed down, it hits the end of those threads. So if I want more weight, I can dump another quarter or two in. And if I need less weight on this end, I can just take one out. That just makes it easier to be able to tune later rather than um, having to elongate the blade by moving it. Having two quarters already in there when I balance, make sure that should I need to shift the weight that way, all I have to do is take a quarter out. And if I need to add weight, as I said, it's a pretty easy uh, drop right in there. And then you can shake this pretty hard and that's not moving around because it's damped by the uh, cotton ball. Hey look, another one, go! Um, yeah, so next thing we do is we just simply find this center mark. So, you're going to make this video difficult, kitten. Find the center, it's just find a blade or some edge or sharp corner that I know this is going to sit on top of. And I pretty much just find the dead center, however you want. Now, when I mark this, you can either twist the blade afterwards, taking out there, or since I'm going to be drilling right on this location, what I'm going to do is make sure that I drill holes perpendicular to the line. They're this, this button right here. So the line will go backwards toward me. 
And then having the line goes backwards toward me means nobody sees the button. Just nicks a little bit cleaner when you're doing these things. So I'm just making a small little dot about an eighth to a quarter of an inch. You go a little bit higher if you're going to be using a, a longer levy wand and a little bit shorter. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the details exactly where to place it. Uh, we'll throw that in a different video. So therefore, I have my center location. Once you have your, uh, or my whole location. So my center of gravity is just about an eighth of an inch below that point. So there's my center. The point is right where my fingernail is. So if I put this right where the uh, mark is, you'll see it already starts to fall that direction. So that's where I'm going to drill. And that's it. Drill. The blade, or at least these ultra blades right here, uh, what they are is a roll of clear metallic film and clear polycarbonate. Um, and then their other style blades, like these ones, are just a more opaque. So don't worry about damaging anything inside the blade. If you want to, you can take the blade out first and then drill that hold and then put the blade back, but there's really no need to. So, small little bit right here, uh, I almost forgot to mention that for my kite line anyway that I use, I'm using 200 pound, and since it is Halloween, we have trigger traders. Just two more. There we go. Okay, you guys enjoy your night, okay? What was that? Oh yeah, so I'm using Kevlar kite string. Um, this one happens to be 200 pounds, but I'm just making sure that the drill bit I use is obviously slightly larger than the string I end up using. So once the holes are drilled right through here, all you have to do is take your string and pass it right through. There's a couple of ways that are um, easy to do this. Uh, probably the one I recommend is just dipping your string in super glue, letting it dry, and it just basically turns into a needle because it'll just turn super hard and then just sticking that through and then therefore you'll be able to thread your line fairly easily. Once you get your string through your lovey wand, all that needs to be done now is setting it to the desired length that you want. Um, this particular one is for Etheria. I believe she likes to be able to just barely touch this once it's linked on her finger. So just be able to miss right through here. So I'm going to basically give it about three inches above the tip of the blade. So before I finish this off, I'm just checking to make sure the balance takes about one full second to rise. Boom! That's where I prefer to have it. Um, notice that the string is on the same side as the button, so as I go from here to here, you'll know until it gets to right here, the button can only be seen when it's behind me. So from there it'll be seen, it'll come forward, it'll come back here, and then it won't be seen again until over here. So keeping that in mind, now you have a lovey wand like this. So therefore when it's in front, the button is blind uh, behind it. Just a small little subtlety that I like to make this look a little bit cleaner. Um, now that it's balanced, making sure that it's balanced that way, making sure that it's round, looks pretty good to me. Just gonna snip off the tails, glue it, and you're done. So now this particular lovey one is all set for a show. You can have some mod, minor mods to it if need be. This seems um, might benefit just a tad bit, being a little bit more um, bottom heavy. So just take out, or not take out, but just undoing the cap, tossing in an extra quarter. So there's now 75 cents at the bottom there. And now trying it one more time. Get the table out of the way. There we go. That's going to be a lot nicer. Sweet! So, because there's already quarters in there, if um, the person really likes this to be a little bit more top heavy, you can go ahead and just take off a quarter or two, uh, up to three in this case. Wants a little bit more, you can just as easily add something. 
But other than that, you have a finished levitation lightsaber. Hope you guys enjoyed it.